Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also gonna let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free, and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below, and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. Jared, welcome, my friend. Hey, buddy. Thanks for having me on, Darius. Thank you, everyone. Um, this is going to be quite a call, so uh, <laughs> everybody kind of take some deep breaths. If you have some water, uh, if you have some tea, whatever you'd like to stay hydrated with, and the reason I say that, and we'll explain it a little bit as I share my story here in a moment, um, you know, we are mostly water. You know, we can say 80, 90 percent, but if you were to really kind of uh, <laughs> squish us up to where we really got into uh, kind of moving through the solid spaces, we're really even more than that. We're like 98, 99 percent water. And so water is a conductive element for electricity. We know that. Like if there's a power line that gets uh, put into water, that water will change its structural property and that water will become energized and electric. So as we do energy work, sometimes you'll hear people say, make sure you stay hydrated or drink water. That's the reason that we say that. It's because it keeps your field in a place where you're able to very quickly process the energy and also integrate all of the vibrations and the frequency that we're going to be working with today to really instill that vitality and help you remember all of those spaces and places where not only are you connected to the light, but you really are the light. And I know for some of you, um, you may have been covering or hiding that light for a very long time or you may not know what to do with that light or feel directionless. And I can tell you that through my own experience, uh, I've been right there. Um, I started out in this lifetime uh, I was born, I've always been able to see and hear and, and kind of have these things, but I was born into a very um, religiously conservative family. Uh, it's, it's very interesting if I go back and we can talk about genetic beliefs a little bit later as well, where uh, sort of genetically uh, in the physical life, if you go back through on my mom's side, there were uh, her grandmother and her grandmother's grandmother and even her grandmother's grandmother. They were all sort of seers, dream interpreters. Um, they all were able to have precognitive visions and things of that nature. And every single one of them married, and not just once, because you know, back you know, 100 years ago, you'd get married at 14 to you know some kind of older man. And, and these were all they all married preachers of you know different. Uh, there two were Pentecostal. Um, one was a Southern Baptist, uh, but and then they'd get you know uh, eventually something might happen to these men or they'd skip town. Or I had one uh, great grandmother who, um, because of her gifts, her husband uh, put her away. So there were there were lots of spaces and places where sort of the religion and the true spirituality began to sort of and it's kind of like how we see it play out in the world it's kind of the power of the patriarchy that energy versus the the uh and i won't even say just the feminine because it's the true masculine as well it's that ability to embrace all that we are and that ability to stand nurtured from the heart but speaking our truth and standing in that and powerfully creating what we want uh so i can see how that kind of moved into uh the choice to create this body and this being that i am today but as i was born um, into uh, that kind of strict energy. I was taught at a very early age, uh, you know, sit down, shut up, stay quiet, don't show anybody who you are, you're a freak. <laughs> All of those things that many of you have experienced in other ways. You know, we, we there was lots of trauma and abuse early on for me, and I know a lot of you have that in your fields as well. And, and that creates a space where we tend to shut down, we tend to feel unloved, we tend to cut off. Um, and all of those things not only affect our health and well-being physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, it also affects our ability to love other people. It affects our ability to create the world that we want. And that's why I've titled today Expressive Abundance because as we begin to lift out of all of that, as we begin to move through that, we find a place where that voice that has been within us, maybe we've silenced it for so many years as I had, um, that voice begins to communicate. And sometimes, uh, and we'll play some tracks to clear out, you know, that voice, as we tune into it, there is, there is anger there. There may be rage there. There may be sorrow there. And so we're afraid to go back into our heart because we, we still feel like if we access our heart, we will be accessing all of those old wounds. So we're going to do a massive 
massive lifting out of stories. And even if you're just in a space where you go, well, you know, I've worked through a lot of that, but I just keep running into walls. I keep feeling like I'm fighting myself at some level. Um, I'm going to show you where you are fighting yourself and how to let go of that. My own story going back to my physical body Growing up by uh, age nine, I was morbidly obese. By the time I was in uh, junior high, I actually, I, I don't know if I've ever shared this. I, I know Darius knows this, but I don't know if I've shared it publicly on a telesummit. I actually just fell one day. I just tripped on the sidewalk. And because I was so heavy, I broke both of my arms at the same time. They just, the elbows popped right out of the socket and cracked out. And so um, I had to literally be taken care of. Uh, for about you know eight weeks by people that I didn't really think loved me, so that was that was a, there were all kinds of interesting things. But so I, I was about at my heaviest, almost 300 pounds, um, and because that was a way for me to move energy, that was a way for me to love myself. I didn't know how to process the energy of who I was because I had to hide it. I had to shut down my heart. And I know so many of you feel like you're not, uh, you know, you're you're not able to fully be you out in the world. You're not able to express you. And so that was one way that I dealt with that was food. Um, another, you know, there are also other addictions that people develop. So we're going to be looking at all of those physical things. But by the time I had gotten into really high school, um, I was having lots and lots of heart problems. And that, it really even, you know, obviously the weight uh, wasn't a, a wonderful helper there, but my heart was out of rhythm. And I was having uh, awful kinds of pulmonary issues and cardiac arrhythmia issues and to where I was strapped to a monitor that I had to carry around for a month just to kind of, you know, beat my heart back into rhythm. Um, and this was all before I was even 18. And so by the time I got to college, I just wanted to check out. You know, I didn't feel like life was ever going to get good. Uh, I didn't, you know, I had lost weight at that point. I physically was okay, but mentally, spiritually, I was completely cut off. I had all of these amazing experiences, but I didn't want to open up to them. I didn't want to see them. I didn't want to integrate them because I didn't know I had permission to be who I was. I didn't know I had permission to express. I thought I had to be who the world wanted me to be or who my parents wanted me to be or who I needed to be at work or all of those things. And I was not giving myself permission to be me. And that literally resulted in that heart physically beginning to shut down. And so it was not until the space where I basically just was in bed one day. Uh, my heart, you know, I'm tachycardic, but it's out of rhythm. So it feels like I'm constantly getting punched in the stomach, punched in the chest. And I just said, you know what, God, universe, whatever it is. And at that time, I was still very, um, still kind of in that religion of, of where I grew up. And I just said, I give up. I give up. This sucks. If if this is all that is there for me, I quit. I'm not fighting it anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. I quit. This is awful. I hate it. I quit. Just take me. And in that moment, as as kind of crazy as that sounds, um, there was just this, okay, I'm not dying. I feel like I'm dying, but I'm not actually dying. So what if and, and I know this this is a uh, this was a hard place for me to come, but this is this was my process. I thought, okay, wait, well I feel like I'm dying, but I'm not dying. I'm still sitting here and I still feel this way, but I'm not dying. So what if I were going to be left here by, you know, at that point, then I'm angry at God, of course. We all get angry at the universe, and we curse, and we do all of these things, and we, we blame other people, and, and, and we even blame ourselves, and, and that just creates more disharmony in our field. So I thought, okay, fine, I'm here from this God who is clearly a person that I just don't ever want to hang out with because all of this stuff has been dumped on me, not realizing that all of these things were actually gateways to my own gifts. And I'll, 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 I want to highlight that for you because whatever you're going through is actually an opportunity to turn into something good and gold in your life. And, mm -hmm. and, and I've shared before that if somebody would have told me that, I probably would have punched them then because I was like, what are you, you're telling me this is good? I, you know, if I had the energy to get out of bed, I probably would have gone crazy and attacked them. But in that space, I realized, what if this is life? What if life never gets any better than this? But what if, what if I'm stuck here? What if it's like that? And I thought, okay, well, that sucks. But you know what? I, I'm at this point, this is as worse as it's going to get for me, and if I'm not going to die, death being the worst thing that could happen, I'm going to go do other things, and I don't care if I feel like I'm falling over or passing out. I'm a, and I only made it to about the door before I had to turn around and go back. I think I probably fell and, and just went, you know, cried and stayed on the floor. But there was enough of a space that I opened up to just saying, I, I quit. I can't handle this. My belief systems that I have, the beliefs I have about who I am and who I'm supposed to be and who I need to be in this lifetime, what I need to do to get love or keep love or earn love, they're literally killing me. And, yeah. and if that's what it takes, then I give that up. I willingly give those stories up. And in that moment, all of those things that I'd always been sort of open to in my own peripheral visions, it was like all of that came whooshing in and it was this beautiful realization that, Jared, this is just energy. 
these are your belief systems. But if you'd have been born 3,000 miles away in another country in another culture, you would have totally different belief systems about what God is or what the universe is. Even as firmly as I believed in reality of, of, of everything I had been taught, it dawned on me that you know I could have uh, a stroke in that moment and I could wake up the next day and my whole memory would be gone. We've, we've heard stories of people who have head traumas and they uh, come back and their personality is completely changed. It's, it, it goes to the point of who are you at your essence beyond what you've been taught or beyond sort of those genetic beliefs that maybe were handed down to you or those core beliefs that we pick up through our own lifetime, you know, through our own experiences. And we go, okay, uh, I put my hand on the stove and the stove is hot and I got burned, therefore hot is bad. Well, what we, we if we store that as a core belief, we fail to realize hot is bad in that context Yet there are places and spaces where hot is also good. And so we begin to learn through you know, our life experience, and that's the part that oftentimes when we hear people say life is a journey and we go, oh, what a wonderful platitude, but what in the world does that mean? And then we you know, go, eh, whatever. But that's really what that means because that's the space where we start to realize, okay, in this instance I had this experience and this was an outcome, but I realized that in that experience that I had, there were a series of beliefs. There was a series of, of creative moments that led me to that experience. And that experience, if we can allow it to be, can, can be on its own. We don't have to hold it in our field. We can move on from it, and we can allow ourselves freedom and safety and joy in everything that we create. And Hello and welcome. This is Derry Sparazande, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're going to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one, live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.